Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick video here uh, with iPhone 5 here. Yeah, I do have a black iPhone 5. Uh, with iOS 6.1.4 here, we're gonna do a benchmark test here, compare it against the iPhone, the iPhone, the, the iPhone 4, I mean, sorry guys. The iPhone 4 here, I'm a little tired, it's Friday. Uh, there we go, black bar, you can see down here. 1332, great, awesome, perfect. Uh, and you can also see in here, iOS 7, beta 5. Let's do the benchmark comparison. Let's see here. We start off here with Geekbench. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's run this test. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Mm. There we go, so we got a score here on the iPhone 5. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm tired, I mean, don't, don't hate, don't hate, hate's gonna hate, but it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. Yeah, that's good news. Probably. There we go. 395, wow. Okay, that's the difference. But remember, 2010 boy, 2030. No, 2012, boy. Yeah. We're gonna get the new iPhone pretty soon, probably. That's probably gonna be quicker. Uh, let's try out another test also. 3D rating benchmark test. So, uh, we're just gonna run it, run it, run it, run it. There we go. So we got the score here of 1,424 on the iPhone 4 and 13,000, 13,000, 30,560. I mean, that's so much higher. Yeah, don't buy this. It sucks in gaming. No. Oh, wow. That was on lag. Probably not super bad, but hey. Can you close, see if it, it will go quick. Apple, I want a button to close everything with one tap. I mean, you need to get that shit. You need to fix that. There we go. There we go. Okay. So let's quickly look here. If you want more iPhone 4 versus iPhone 5, please tell me about that. And sorry, don't hate, I'm tired. Yeah, peace out.